Welcome fellow foodies to my video today. Today I'm exploring cuisine from the Czech Republic. Now, I have a close affinity with the Czech Republic. When I was 19, I moved out to the Czech Republic and lived in Prague for one year. I had the most amazing time and the whole country, the culture, the people, I absolutely loved. So I have a close connection with Prague and with the Czech Republic and really in this video, I wanted to explore the wonderful Czech cuisine. When I think of Czech food, I think of really rustic, hearty, almost medieval dishes with lots of meat, rich sauces. I absolutely love the Czech Republic. The Czech countryside is, is so, so beautiful. And you have places like Česky Krumnov and Kutna Hora and Pinslen. Out of all of the Czech food, my favorite dish was duck and dumplings. So today I'm preparing a beautiful roasted duck leg, some lovely bread dumplings, potato dumplings, red cabbage and sauerkraut. So without further ado, let's dive straight in and see how it's done. First step is this large red cabbage. Red cabbage or any cabbage in, in that sense can be quite an uninspirational and kind of boring ingredient. But actually, if you cook it correctly, it has so much flavor and you know, it's, it's pretty good for you as well. So we're going to half and we're going to quarter this red cabbage. We're going to cut it up, we're going to shred it quite finely and we're going to braise this quite slowly for a couple of hours and it will slowly cook down and have a really delicious flavour. I'm also going to cut up one white onion as well. In my large pot here, I've placed all of the cabbage and the white onion I'm going to add a few tablespoons of brown sugar and one tablespoon of caraway seeds, a pinch of salt, two tablespoons of white vinegar. We can give that a really good stir around and then put on the lid. This is on a low to medium heat and we're going to braise this gently. By the way, if you're enjoying my video, it would be amazing if you could hit that like button. It really helps promote my content on YouTube. Next, we have our duck. We have a couple of duck legs here. These are really good quality duck legs, quite local for me. I bought them from my local butcher. Now, traditionally, you could actually cook the duck in far more lard, but just to try to be a little bit healthier, I've used about 50 grams or so, and I've just broken this down. I'm also going to add a really good pinch of salt. And I'm going to use some caraway seeds as well. A good pinch of some caraway seeds. We're going to start this off on a high oven, about 200 degrees. We'll cook this for 20 minutes or so. Next, I'm going to cook some potato dumplings. Now I have mashed some potatoes here. Literally just peeled and boiled them. And I have blitzed them up so they're nice and smooth. I'm going to add in 220 grams of all-purpose flour. I'm 
going to give this a bit of a mix. Next, I'm going to add in two whole eggs. I've also added in a bit of salt. Now I'm going to combine this mixture together. It is quite a dense mixture, so I'm going to use my hands to gently knead this. The brilliant thing about the potato dumpling is it doesn't need um, a lot of work. There's no yeast, there's no rising agent. It's simply just mixing all of those ingredients together and forming um, a nice dumpling shape. I'm going to separate this in half. I'm going to roll each one out to create a nice potato dumpling. If you're enjoying my video today and you would like to see more, it would be amazing if you could subscribe to my channel for simple and easy recipes that I post every week. The duck has been roasting for about 20, 30 minutes. So I'm going to take this out of the oven and I'm going to flip the duck upside down. I'm going to lower the temperature on the oven to, down to about 160 so the duck can cook nice and slowly. I'm going to also add in a little bit of water in with the lard and the duck fat just so this can gently cook and the duck will be really nice and tender. These potato dumplings I've been to a large saucepan, boiling water, and I've cooked these for about 20 minutes or so. You can see here there's lots of steam. To see the bread dumplings with this dish, I'm going to put a link below so you can see the recipe for that. I did a collaboration with the Czech cookbook and I cooked a beautiful beef goulash and some lovely bread dumplings. Here is the finished dish. A couple of potato dumplings, a couple of bread dumplings, white sauerkraut, lovely braised red cabbage, and of course that roasted Czech duck. And I have a slight confession to make with the sauerkraut. I actually bought the sauerkraut from the supermarket. It's as cheap as chips, and frankly, the way it's made is much better than I could ever do. This video today it would be great if you could leave a comment down below i'd love to know what you think of this czech styled duck and dumplings until next time for the foodies happy cooking <laughs>